What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in today's video I want to show you how to set up your business Facebook page so you can go through and brand yourself, generate leads, run ads, do all that cool stuff, right? So right here I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what we're going to do today and then also I've actually got a really cool bonus for you guys. I've got a free tool for you, a free software that's going to actually automatically post to Facebook for you. So um, I'm going to show you guys that here at the very end of the video. And if you guys want that, go ahead and comment down below. Say Facebook auto poster, comment Facebook auto poster, and then I will shoot you over the link to be able to create your account so you can get this 100% free lifetime access, guys. There's never going to be a monthly fee or anything else. It's just kind of a special gift for you guys being a viewer here on the channel, right? And if you guys are brand new here, my name is Jason Wardrop, and I launch new videos. I try to launch new videos every single day on how to generate leads, make more money, and grow your business. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel, right? So here is my Facebook page. You can see um, I've got kind of this cover photo. We're going to show you how exactly how to create this today. I've got a profile picture of me coming down here. Um, I've got you know a little over twenty eight thousand followers right now. And then if we come down, I've got this post up here at the top because when somebody new comes to my Facebook page. I want a little bit of an inf intro, a little bit like telling them who I am and what I do. And then you can kind of see down here, hey, here's some essential tools and things to know. Here's a software, here's some trainings, here's some Facebook groups, here's some different things. And so basically if someone's brand new but they see your Facebook page, they can come here and get to learn a lot about you. Now, they've got an about section, all that stuff, but also it's sometimes nice to have this as your fir first post. You guys can see here, Got about 225 likes. I've got tons of comments down here um, that you know people are just inter engaging with me. All right, so let's come over here to the main Facebook part. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create your Facebook page. If you're starting completely from scratch, for like Jason, I have a personal profile, but I don't know how to create the business page. Let's walk you through how to do that. All right, so what we're going to do is click up here on this down arrow. Okay, up in the top right, and we are going to go to create. Page. Okay, so now we can go through and this is really easy. Facebook's made it super easy for us. They're gonna say, hey, do you want to do a local business or place, a public figure, entertainment? What do you want? I would recommend um, a public figure because you want to go brand yourself, or if you have a local business or a place, then you can go through and do that as well. But I'm gonna stick with a public figure, all right? Now what we're gonna do is choose a category. So we just come down here, we choose what best fits our. So we could do, you know, public figure. We could do entrepreneur, which I believe that's what I did, blogger, chef, coach, whatever you guys want to do. So let's just say, well, just to keep it kind of generic or whatever, uh, we'll just say public figure right here. Okay, and as far as the name, I like to use, I, like, I just used my own name. So I just used Jason Wardrop. But let's say you're like in real estate, for example, you might want to say Jason Wardrop and then, um, you know, Dallas Realtor or Park City Realtor, like wherever you are located, and then Realtor so people know, okay, like I, I know what Jason Wardrop's page is all about. Okay, so we'll say Jason Wardrop, and then we'll say um, we'll go with Dallas Realtor right there. Okay, because then when they see like your post on the newsfeed, they know like what you're all about. All right, so now we're just gonna hit get started, or you could just leave it your name, guys. What it's honestly up to you, your preference. Okay, now we're gonna go through. It says upload a profile picture. Okay, now I think I've got one. I just got one right here. So let's make this easy. You can just go through, upload your picture. Now, one tip right here is whatever picture you use on um, like Twitter or Instagram or any of those other ones, make sure you guys use the same picture because then it kind of like brands you and people kind of recognize that profile picture of you. And if you're using a different picture on every single social platform, it really gets hard to keep it consistent. And make sure it's like a clear headshot, all right? Nothing like with a... Uh, with you with like you know in the background or like the, your dog and then you like people can't really tell who it is people want to see who you are especially on your business Facebook page right you can keep that stuff for your personal profile have maybe like a, a weird pick of you know something else but with this you want to have a clear headshot right okay upload a cover photo I'm gonna show you guys how to do this here in a second so we're just gonna skip this for right now and then this will take us to the next step. So we've got initially it says now you can invite your friends, guys. And this is an awesome, easy way to go through it. And they just kind of walk you through, okay, here's how you make your first post, which is fairly simple, and you guys probably don't know how to do that. All right, so what you can do now 
and you don't have to invite all of your friends, but you can maybe invite some family members, some people that you know would be interested in you and your business, but you just come in over here and you just hit invite on all these, okay? Now, I'm not gonna invite these people because this is obviously a demo Facebook page to go through and help you learn some of these different aspects, but this is an easy way to go get your first 100 likes on Facebook without having to spend any money on Facebook ads or anything else, right? Now, what I wanna do is show you guys how to change this cover photo right here and how to make one really easily. So what we're gonna do is use a, um, a, a free tool, it's called Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com, and then you can, it's really cool guys, because you can go through, it says create a design, we click on more right here, and they have all the dimensions already pre-built for you. So if you wanna do like a YouTube thumbnail or a Facebook ad, Facebook post, Instagram post, you got all these different options so if we want to come down here, social media and email headers, okay? You got a Facebook event cover, YouTube thumbnail, you've got all these different ones. Facebook cover, this is the one that we're going to want to use right here because the Facebook event cover is a little bit different than the Facebook page cover, right? So we're going to want to use this one right here. So what we'll do is we'll click on this and they've got some pre-built designs right here for you guys that really make it pretty cool. So you can kind of come in here, you know, choose these different ones. They've got a ton of options. They have a few options that I think cost a little bit of money, but a lot of these you can honestly go through and use without spending any money. Okay, so it's really pretty cool. Um, you can just, you guys can see this over here on the left. There's tons and tons of different options. And then let's say we want, um, let's say we want this one right here. Okay, so we can say, uh, we'll say Jason Wardrop. Realty, we'll stick with that theme right here, okay? And they'll say like Dallas Realtor. Okay, then what we could do is, and if you guys look over here, one thing I tend to do, like I added my, my picture right here, which is kind of a goofy picture, but I just kind of leave this as I don't really need my picture there because I've got a picture of myself right over here on the side. Okay, so what I might do since it's real estate, I think I've got some cool real estate images uploaded over here. So I might come over here and throw that in there. And now you got a, a nice looking cover photo right there, okay? So now if we hit download, go over here, download this. You guys, like that took me literally, what, 20 seconds to go through and do that? Put my name on there, put like, hey, I'm a Dallas realtor, which guys, I'm not, by the way, just this demo, right? All right, so that downloaded. So let's come back over here to our page. And all we gotta do is click on add a cover. And it's cool, you can actually add a little video on here as well, okay? But for this one, just keep it easy. We're just gonna add an image at first. So we're just gonna go, hey, upload a photo or a video. And then this is the one I believe, yep, that's the one we just created. So now you guys can see, this is already starting to look a lot more professional and really nice and we haven't spent any money, right? Like you're getting your first 100 likes by inviting your friends here. You've got a really nice background image, back uh, Facebook cover photo using Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. We've got our profile picture right here. And guys, if I, I'm in real estate and if I'm working with high-end real estate, I probably shouldn't use a picture of me in a hoodie, right? You probably want to have a shirt and a tie, like looking nice. You want to fit the brand, fit the, you know, whatever you're going after, okay? So now what we can do is come down here. It says create a username for your page. Okay, now this is really cool because like, see how it says facebook.com forward slash Jason dash wardrop dash realtor um, and then a huge long number we can actually make it so it's a lot easier for people to search. So we say create a username for your page. So we can say Jason Wardrop Dallas Realtor, something like that. Okay, and it says, hey, check, you know, it's good to go. So we hit create username. And now the cool thing is, is look, we could say, hey, these are some of the, the easy links that people could go to. You could say, hey, at the username, Jason Wardrop Dallas Realtor, um, facebook.com, or we could even say, Facebook.com forward slash Jason Wardrop Dallas Realtor. So we just use that URL right there. Now it should go to the page we just created, right? See, so that's that's right here at this page. Okay, so now what I want to do is go through and kind of maybe like make some a few other tweaks here. So um, I've got this page, this post right here at the top, like I showed you guys. So you want to go through and do a little bit of an about you section. You can see here what I did was like, hey guys, my name is Jason Wardrop. I'm your real estate mortgage broker, business growth automation guy. I'm awesome entrepreneur. I kind of tell a little bit about me and I say, hey, here's your next step. Like my page, 
You can jump on my free training, comment and introduce yourself below, and you can look forward to some videos and different things. So like, go through and customize it to your, your business. You can say, hey, here's a link to my website. Message me on Facebook if you are looking to buy or sell a home, and just have a few of those different intros there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, to make this quicker for this video, I'm gonna go through and upload the photo. So my same profile picture photo here, okay, just so like it creates that consistent branding. And I'm gonna throw in this, all of this um, copy and paste text. You guys can go to my Facebook page, check it out. See, I'll, I'll throw a link down in the description so you guys can have that. So um, anyway, and then I'm just gonna hit publish. Now, you don't wanna hit publish and just leave it at that because then what happens is anytime you make another post, it's just gonna go down below, right? So what I'm gonna do is click on these three dots right here, and I'm gonna say, hey, pin this to the top of the page. Right, so now if you come back over here to this one, like I did this July 27th of 2016, right now it's 2018, and so I like that normally would be like stacked way down in my feed, but what I've done is I've posted this at the very top so anyone new is gonna come in and see this, right? So anyway guys, these are some of the basic main things to, to get your Facebook cover photo looking nice, your Facebook profile, your top post, getting your custom username, inviting your friends to get your first 100 likes or so, and now let me just show you guys really quick this 100% free tool that you guys can have that it's got, you guys can set the schedule to post to your Facebook page, your Facebook profile, any groups you're a member of, or even Twitter and LinkedIn all at the same time. And we have some pre-built content for you guys. So I just wanna show you guys that really quick. And like I said guys, if you comment down below and say Facebook automation tool, then I will shoot you the link to get this 100% for free. And I mean, you'll never have to pay for it. It's just a free resource for you being a viewer here on my YouTube channel, right? So what you can do is you go through, you connect your Facebook account, you can connect LinkedIn, you can connect Twitter, you can see all this. So you got your personal profile, and I've got, you guys can see here, I've got a ton of business pages, and then any groups that you create, that you have to be the owner of the group, um, you can also post in those as well. So um, you can either come in here and create a test post, throw in a link to your website or whatever it is, and then let's say, hey, let's post this test group. And you can see it like it's gonna update in real time. So you can see what it's gonna look like on Facebook or even if you wanna go to Twitter, okay? You can add an attachment, you can add a URL down here and choose a post date. So say, hey, let's mo next um, January 31st at 10.30 p.m. I wanna post this and then you just hit schedule and it goes through and schedules it and you can go through and create another post, right? Now, one other cool thing that you guys can do is we've got this library of content that you can go through and, you know, like let's say we're in real estate, okay? Because um, I, I work with a lot of real estate agents and help them generate leads and all that stuff. So we've got all these pre-built posts for you guys. So like, hey, check this place out, how cool this. Hey, thoughts on this room and family room and kitchen, is this your style? And so these are just posts to like stay top of mind with all your followers and get in front of them and uh, you know get some, some likes and comments and get them engaging, all right? So you can see these other ones, they're like quotes, that means it's like a link out to another profile and it takes a second to load sometimes, but we've got all these other ones that you can go through and, and use. So what we'll do is just hit schedule and then we'll go, we can add like, uh, we can say, hey, let's post it to our real estate agent demo page and then we can say, hey, we want to link back. You can link back to your website, whatever it is. And then you can say, hey, I want to choose to post this on Tuesday at, let's do this one in the afternoon. So 1.30 p.m. And we just hit schedule. And then you got this schedule right here. You can come back and see, okay, like, you know, you've got one post going out to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and it just makes it super, super easy, all right? So anyway, guys, I'm not gonna spend any more time on this. I'm not trying to like sell you guys hardcore. This is just a free little bonus. So comment down below, Facebook automation tool, and I will send you the link to create your free account and get started with this, all right? So anyway, guys, hopefully that was helpful as far as getting your Facebook business page created and going through and getting that jump start, making it look professional, even if you're not a designer. Like guys, I'm not a designer but I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com, you guys can see up here, and it makes it really easy to go through and make you have a professional, nice looking design Facebook page, right? So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, 
Make sure you guys like this uh, video. Also, share it with any friends that you feel like might find this of value, of might find it helpful. And then also comment below Facebook automation tools and I'll send you guys the link to be able to get free access, lifetime access to that social automation tool as well. And also guys, if you guys want new videos like this every single day, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell and you guys will be notified every single time we launch a new video, right? So thanks so much for watching today, guys. And with that said, we'll see you all tomorrow.